Hi guys, this is Sadek from Dragon.com and in this video, we'll show you various methods to fix the issue of Android ADB commands not working on your PC. So let's get started. First off, try out the basic USB tweaks. In this regard, your first course of action is to use the official USB cable. So use the cable that came with your phone. If that does not work out, then you may try out the USB cable from a different OEM, but it should be the official cable itself. For instance, if you own a OnePlus phone, you may try out the Samsung cable or the Xiaomi cable, but make sure it's the official USB cable. Apart from that, your next course of action should be to use the USB 2.0 port on your PC and not the 3.0 port. While the 3.0 port gives out a higher speed, but in some cases it might conflict with the ADB command, therefore use the USB 2.0 port and try out the result. Likewise, it's recommended to use a PC with an Intel chipset and not the Ryzen or AMD chipset. I'll talk more about that in this video. Next up, please make sure to get hold of the official ADB Android SDK platform tools that is given by Google. For that, you may get it from my guide. So get it from here and extract them onto your PC. You could extract them anywhere you want. So this is the link for the Windows, Linux and Mac OS. It will automatically update to the latest build. So get it from here and extract them onto your PC. You could extract them anywhere you want. In my case, I have done the extraction in C drive and these are the files for platform tools. So once you have made the extraction, you may now try and use the ADB command and see the result. If that does not work out, then please make sure to add ADB to path as well. This is because as of now, Windows does not know that you have done the extraction of ADB in the C drive. So you will now have to instruct Windows that you have done the extraction in the C drive or the whatever drive is your current location for platform tools. So we will now have to instruct the OS re regarding this path as well. So for that, open start menu and search for view advanced system settings. So search for it and then open it. Now hit the environmental variables button. Then under system variables, go to path and click on edit. And from here, click on new. And now you will have to copy the path directory of the platform tool. So simply copy it from here. So click on new and simply paste the directory over here and hit OK. In my case, I've already done that beforehand. So let me show you. As you could see, this is the directory. Once that is done, hit the OK button. Again, hit OK. Again, click OK. And now verify if you are able to execute ADB commands or not. If you are still facing any issue, then next up, you will have to use command prompt inside instead of PowerShell because in case of PowerShell, you will have to use a period as well as a forward slash before every command and that might lead to quite a few issues. Therefore, please use command prompt. Moreover, the CMD window should always be open inside the platform tool folder. In other words, go to the platform tool folder directory, type in CMD in the address bar and hit enter. As you could see, the command prompt is the CMD window is inside the platform tools directory. Apart from that, you may also do one more thing. Simply copy the path of the platform tools. Now open CMD window from start menu and then type in CD, which stands for chain directory space and paste the path. And we are now inside the platform tools folder directory, as you could see. So always make sure that you're inside the platform tools. Moreover, all the files that you want to flash should also be there inside this directory itself. So carry out this tweak and see if it works for you or not. If it does not work for you, then your next course of action should be to disable and re-enable USB debugging. So for that, go to about phone system, go to system developer option and turn off USB debugging. Likewise, I would also advise you to turn off developer option. Once that is done, you, you should now go back to the settings menu and from here go to about phone and then tap on build number seven times. It will re-enable developer option. Now go back, go to system, developer option and likewise unplug your phone from the PC as well. Now re-enable the toggle next to USB debugging and tap on OK. And now replug your phone to the PC by USB cable. If this is the first time you are enabling USB debugging, you might get an RCK prompt as well. In that case, tap on allow. And as you could see, we have now enabled USB debugging. It's given here. So with debugging enabled, you may verify the same by going to the platform to folder address bar, type in CMD and hit enter. This will launch command prompt. Now type in ADB devices. And if you're getting a serial ID, well and good. If you're not getting any ID, then you will have to proceed ahead with the next fix. So let me show you. Once again, as you could see, we are now getting an ID with the device keyword. If you're not getting the ID or if you're not getting the device keyword and you're getting unauthorized or something like that, then let's move ahead and rectify this issue as well. So let me first close all the CMD window and we will start off from scratch. So your next fix should be to 
reauthorize USB debugging. For that, go to the de developer option and tap on revoke USB debugging authorization. Then tap on OK. It will revoke all the debugging from all your PC. Now once again, turn off USB debugging. Then re-enable it. Tap on OK. And now you will get an allow USB debugging connection with an RC key fingerprint. If this is your own PC, you may also check mark always allow from this computer and then tap on allow. If you don't tap on allow, then you will get an unauthorized message. Let me show you. So if I don't tap on allow and type in the command, I will get the serial ID, but I will get unauthorized. So you will have to authorize the connection. So tap on allow and if this is your own PC, you may also tap on always allow from this computer and tap on allow. And let's verify once again, as you could see, we are now getting the device keyword and you should now be able to type in the command without any issues. But if you are still facing any bugs, then let's move ahead with the next fix. So now you will have to install the Android ADB interface drivers as well. So if the, your phone is working well and good, in my case, there is no issue. So let me show you if I open the device manager, as of now, your phone should either be there in the port section. So in my case, there is no port section, but there is Android device and my phone is shown here. So your phone should be either in Android device in the port section or in some cases, your phone might also be there under the universal serial bus controller as well. Or apart from that, your phone might also be shown in one more place. Let me change my phone and show you. I will now use a OnePlus phone uh, whose code name is Lahana OnePlus. And in that case, let me show you. You, your phone might also be shown in the universal serial bus devices as you could see over here. So as you could see your phone might also be shown over here in the universal serial bus devices. So apart from the universal serial bus controller, you may also get your phone in the universal serial bus devices or the Android devices section. That does not matter. Just make sure your phone is being shown here. Once that is the case, Let's now move ahead and let me now replug my phone back via the USB cable. And in my case, currently I'm getting my phone in the Android device section. So once you're getting your phone, go, go to my guide and download the drivers from here. So let me show you, this is the link. Get hold of the drivers and extract them onto your PC. So let me do the extraction and it should be somewhat here itself. So extract the drivers. It has both the fastboot and the ADB drivers. So with this, we have done the extraction and let's now move ahead and install these drivers. So for that, you will have to right click on your phone. As of now, your phone might be shown with a yellow exclamation mark. That's not a cause of concern. Right click on it and select update driver, then select browse my computer for drivers. And now you will have to choose the location where you have done the extraction. So let me do that as well. So let's verify. Then now click on, let me pick from a list of available drivers. And now you will have to choose the drivers. So, or rather hit the have disk button and now hit the browse button. And from the browse, you will have to go to the folder where you have done the extraction of the drivers. So let me show that as well. In my case, it should be in the C downloads folder. Just a minute. So this is the downloads folder. And from here, this is the compress directory and this is the Windows folder, choose the entire USB driver folder and click on open or rather let's choose the INF file. So go inside this folder and choose the Android Windows Win USB.INF and click on open. Again, click on OK and you will now get Android Composite ADB interface or Android ADB interface. So just click on the next button and it will now install the drivers, the ADB drivers and will take only a few seconds. You might get a prompt something like this, a prompt to so just Tap on OK or Yes and the drivers will be installed. As you could see, we have got the driver drivers installed successfully. I will now advise you to do a restart of the PC and upon a restart, your phone will now be shown on your PC. So your phone will now be shown under Android device or the ports or the universal serial bus section. And either of the se section, your phone should now be shown here. But if you are still facing any issue, then your next course of action should be to restart the ADB server. So for that, First of all, type in ADB kill server. This will stop the current server. And once that is done, type in ADB start server. And this will start a new instance of the server. Just a minute. Let's give it a dash here. And it will now start a new instance of the server and will take a few seconds. 
let's wait and once that is done you may not type in adb devices and verify the result and as you could see we are now getting the serial id but if you are still facing any issue and you are, are on a ryzen chipset then in that case you will have to type in these three commands as well this will add a few re registry value in the registry editor so simply open the command prompt from here as an admin type in cmd and select run as admin click on yes in the prompt that appears and now you just have to execute these three command copy the first command paste it in the cmd window likewise copy the second command and paste it in the cmd window as well and do so for all the three commands once that is done hit enter and the adb values will now be added to the re registry and once the value has been added simply do a restart and upon a restart your phone will now be visible in your pc in adb mode and the issue should be fixed so guys this was all from this video if you have any queries do let me know in the comment section and thanks a lot for watching